should stay on their current schedule next year. Right now, students attend in-person class four days a week with Fridays as an online learning day. New specialist Debbie Worthen is live in South Jordan. Debbie, the district did a survey. What did they find out? Well, Deanie, they had heard from a handful of parents who were giving them a, opinions on how they think next year should go. But instead of just listening to that small minority, they decided to send out that survey. Well, they heard from thousands of people. In fact, it was their largest response to any survey ever. And people were overwhelmingly, in fact, two to one in favor of Friday staying as is. Not with a fox. It's time to get in reading minutes at the Condi House. I have to read about 20 minutes every night. With four kids, opinions are split on Friday school. I would rather just stay home. I want four days because I don't, I don't like going to school. Keep it how it is now. <laughs> I want to go um, through Fridays. As for mom and dad. And the kids are able to accomplish all their Friday work either later in the day when I'm done working or, or before. So it hasn't been a, an issue for us. I think it's nice to keep on the four day a week. 16,000, 16,000. Now, Bryce Dunford is on the Jordan District School Board. He said the majority of people feel just like the Condies. It was resounding what they said. Right. Two to one, two to one. Parents, teachers across the board were very, very favorable for the Friday. They want to repeat the Friday schedule. That doesn't mean it's a done deal. He believes there are two schools of thought. We deliver education best when students and teachers are together in a classroom. That is where we are at our very best. However, it is very appropriate to teach our students how to succeed in a digital world. The Condies have liked having extra help from teachers on Fridays, but see, it's not great for everyone. I don't know if we'll really know until we try it, and we're all for for the teachers having that extra day for preparation as well. We we see the benefits on both on on doing it, and we also see how it could be a hardship. Well, the board hopes to have a decision by May, but first they have to determine if this is actually a legal option. And then a committee will discuss the issue. They know parents need to plan for next year, so they are on this. And they say they want to accommodate families as long as it is in the best interests of the students. Deanie? I think families in a lot of those districts have seen that Friday, flexible Fridays can be a thing they want to stay. Debbie, thanks. Mm -hmm. As a kid, I dreamed of having Fridays. <laughs>